there's a little-known gardening secret that's been stirring up quite the buzz, and it's hiding right in your kitchen. While most gardeners spend money on expensive fertilizers, the real growth booster might be something as simple as molasses. Yes, that thick, dark syrup we usually save for baking could be the key to plants growing nearly 50% faster. Today on Crop Corner, we're uncovering the truth behind the sweet fertilizer hack that's transforming gardens worldwide, molasses versus brown sugar, and finding out once and for all which one reigns supreme in natural plant growth. At the core of every thriving organic garden lies one thing, microbes. These microscopic workers break down organic matter into forms that plants can actually absorb. In natural farming, we supercharge this process through fermented fertilizers, homemade brews teeming with beneficial microbes. They're made by combining greens or kitchen scraps with sugar and water, allowing the mixture to ferment and multiply into a living nutrient solution. But here's where things get interesting. The kind of sugar you use can make or break your results. So, sugars actually act as microbial fuel, giving these tiny organisms the energy they need to digest and release nutrients. But, you know, not all sugars are created equal. Brown sugar and molasses might look pretty similar at first glance, but when it comes to feeding microbes, they perform in completely different ways. Brown sugar is basically refined white sugar with just a small splash of molasses added back in. It's really high in sucrose and dissolves easily, which is why it's a go-to option for a lot of gardeners making fermented plant juice, or FPJ. It's sweet, it preserves the mixture well, and it gives microbes plenty of carbon for energy. But, here's the catch. Brown sugar feeds microbes kind of like candy feeds kids. It gives them a quick rush of energy, but it doesn't provide the minerals or nutrients they actually need to build real microbial strength. Fermentation still happens, sure, but it's slower and a lot less diverse. The end product often lacks the full nutrient range that plants really crave for explosive growth. So, in short, brown sugar keeps things steady, but not exactly spectacular. Molasses, on the other hand, is where the magic truly begins. Unlike brown sugar, it's not just sugar. It's sugar plus nutrition. Rich in minerals like potassium, calcium, magnesium, and iron, molasses gives microbes the full diet they need to multiply rapidly and break down organic matter more efficiently. When added to a fermentation mix, molasses doesn't just fuel microbes, it nourishes them. The result is a more active, diverse microbial population that digests materials faster and releases a wider range of plant-boosting compounds. Gardeners who've tested both report that molasses-based fertilizers ferment nearly 50% faster and produce noticeably healthier, greener plants. It's like giving your soil a dose of life itself. To put the debate to rest, we ran a direct comparison between molasses and brown sugar using identical recipes. Both mixtures were made from one part chopped greens like spinach or vegetable scraps, one part sweetener, either molasses or brown sugar, and ten parts clean water. For instance, if you're using one kilogram of greens, add one kilogram of molasses or brown sugar and ten liters of water. Both batches were fermented for two weeks, stirred daily, and kept in identical conditions. The results were striking. The molasses mixture began bubbling within 24 hours, a clear sign of active microbial fermentation. The brown sugar version took nearly two days just to wake up. After a week, the molasses brew smelled yeasty and alive, while the brown sugar batch was still more syrupy than fermented. When both were tested on identical plants, the difference was visible in just three weeks. The molasses-fed plants grew about 25% taller, had deeper green leaves, and bloomed earlier than the brown sugar-fed ones. The verdict was clear. Molasses doesn't just start fermentation faster, it produces a fertilizer that plants love. So, why exactly does molasses work so much better? Well, the answer lies in its nutrient profile. Microbes thrive on two key things, carbon, which they get from sugar, and minerals, which come from trace nutrients. Brown sugar, you know, provides only the carbon. Molasses, however, delivers both. This dual nourishment lets microbes reproduce more efficiently and stay active for longer periods, and that, in turn, translates into faster nutrient breakdown and stronger plant growth. In practical terms, 
molasses speeds up fermentation by nearly 50%, creating a richer and more balanced fertilizer. It's not just a sweetener, it's a microbial superfood. Ready to try this at home? Here's how you can make your own molasses-based fermented fertilizer for stronger, faster-growing plants. You'll need one part chopped greens or fruit scraps, one part molasses, and ten parts clean water. For example, you could use one kilogram of greens, one kilogram of molasses, and ten liters of water. The steps are pretty simple. First, mix the ingredients in a clean container. Plastic or glass works fine. Stir well until the molasses dissolves. Seal the container, but remember to open it daily to release any gas buildup. Stir once a day and let it ferment for about two weeks. Once your fertilizer is ready, strain out the solids and dilute it before use. The ideal ratio is one part fertilizer to 20 parts water. For instance, one cup of fertilizer to five cups of water. You can use it as a soil drench around the roots or as a foliar spray once a week. You'll notice greener leaves, stronger stems, and faster growth in as little as two weeks. While molasses is the undisputed champion for speed and nutrient power, brown sugar still holds a valuable place in the garden. Because it ferments more slowly, it's perfect for fertilizers you plan to store longer. The high sugar content acts as a natural preservative, stabilizing the mixture and preventing it from spoiling too soon. That's why many gardeners prefer brown sugar for fermented plant juices that need time to develop. It's slower, yes, but more stable. So if long-term storage is your goal, brown sugar still deserves a spot on your gardening shelf. When it comes to natural fertilizers, molasses takes the crown, it's nutrient-dense, speeds up fermentation, and creates a more powerful microbial community that translates directly into stronger, faster-growing plants. Brown sugar may have its place, but if you're after results that you can actually see, lush leaves, vibrant blooms, and roots that dig deep, molasses is the winner every time. So next time you're in the kitchen, think twice before reaching for that bag of brown sugar. Your plants might just prefer a spoonful of molasses instead. If this guide helped you unlock the secret of molasses in your garden, don't keep it to yourself. Hit subscribe to join our growing community of gardeners right here on Crop Corner and share this video with fellow plant lovers. Let's grow smarter, stronger, and sweeter together.